Good evening, fellow gardeners. Well, we finally found a little break in the rain out here. We didn't get to put this video on, make it last week because it rained all week, but here it is. We're gonna go ahead and make it today and then put it on this week for you. You remember last week we showed you how to put the little frame up, put the bows down in. The, this is a skid uh, around the bottom. We put the bows in. Then we put our corner braces on and put the purlin in the middle. Now we're gonna show you how to cover this house. And so the first thing you do is cut you up some of this wiggle wire into about 12 inch pieces. And we're gonna put the plastic on the ends first and then put it on top. So we're gonna show you just exactly how to do. You just raise this up there and Richard will go up on the, on the ladder. And uh, you got this barely over. You, let, you put it over about four inches over the top and uh, see, I've got just enough plastic to not to waste any to cover this side up right here. And uh, that's what we'll do is right here is put this on like this. This little wiggle wire goes in this track here that you put in like, you start it in there like that and just start wiggling, wiggling in there. That's ready to call it wiggle wire. And uh, it'll go right in there and you put, you put about a piece in the middle, one on each side there and then one down towards the bottom and uh, that's the way you cover the end and then we we have to cut the plastic out around the door josh will cut it right there around the door you go in up to the two top corners and come down towards the middle and then just rip it right down through the middle there and uh, richard can you put one over here for me Put it right down there somewhere. Okay. Okay. Huh? Now he's gonna he's gonna cut around the hinges. If you'll see here, we got the two hinges on this door uh, for the door goes. So he cuts that a little bit, puts it up over that, gets it that right down around that, and then he goes down and and then he uh, if he gets both of those cut, puts them over the hinges. Then we're gonna wrap it around in behind the door. There's a wiggle bar track right on the inside here, back in there. We're gonna pull that around and uh, just put a little at the top, a little at the bottom, that's all you gotta do. And uh, that's, what, that's what gets that in. Then he's gonna take a, turn that up over the top and he's gonna put a little piece up there, across it, and he puts a piece on the other side and that's the way you cover it around that door. I'll take and cut this plastic here a little bit to kind of show you it. You know, you've got it kind of watered around here. You just get down at the corner and cut it out, right out through that away, like into that. Now it's down like a, now you're gonna bury this. You're gonna dig a little ditch across there and bury that in the ground. Same way with this and over here, we're gonna, we're gonna cut it a little bit. And that'll be, that'll be buried in the ground also. Try to make it look a little pretty neat, you know. And then they'll cut this off. They're gonna cut this off here about four inches in behind, about past. Kind of hold it out here so we can kind of see. We're gonna cut it here about four or five inches out here just long enough to reach over this wiggle wire track. And they'll, they'll fasten that on. And then we'll go to the other end and do the same thing. And then we're going to show you how to put the top on. All right, just uh, okay. We we throw a rope over. We got a rope tied on the other side on our little uh, clips we showed you down at the bottom. Put a rope on each corner. Is what we're going to do. And this plastic goes over the top. We throw two ropes over. We're going to tie it on each corner that goes over the top. Now this house is 12 foot long. So we've got a piece of plastic that's 14 wide. And uh, if you go to the other side and help pull these ropes, we'll pull it over and show you how we do that. And uh, thankfully the wind's not blowing real hard today. Oh, you go to the other end, Richard. Right, right here, here, go down to the other end. Go right down here. You pull it over, you take your ropes loose, and then you pull it down to where you've got about 18 inches on the ground. You don't want to go just to the ground, you want to go down where you got about 18 inches. 
All right, Richard, if you'll come up here now on the outside with your ladder and fasten this, we'll have it about where we need it. So we, we get it where we got 18 inches over on the other side. Now you're gonna have extra plastic over here that we'll cut off to put on the doors. Because see, we gotta cover the doors separate. So uh, Richard, start. you always start right in the middle. After he gets this over, and Isaac's got about 18 inches left over on the other side. You start in the middle and start putting your wiggle wire on. Come all the way down, you know, on one side, come all the way down, leaving about the same amount on there. And then he Richard will go back to the middle and he go the other way and do the same thing. Need another wire, Richard, going on the other side you got there. It's not, it's not a hard job to do on a steel day. We're here on this busy road, so we, we have to kind of watch in between the traffic. Okay. Okay, take it to the other end, Richard. You put one on the other end. Josh, you can put that one in there, or Isaac one can. You need a war, you got the war down there. Heavy, okay, all right. This is what the wiggle wire looks like. You know, it's a little, it's a piece of wire that's bent back and forth. This is stainless steel. It's six foot long. Your wiggle wire track comes in 12 foot lengths, and the way you put that wiggle wire track on is just set it up on here, and, and you start your screwing in, and you keep screwing it up here and you bend, as you bend it over this bow, it'll just bend right on over there and just follow the bow over and put it all the way to the other side. And that's what's gonna hold your plastic on. You've got one on the top of this end and then we put one on the other end. Richard's pulled the plastic now to the other end and putting it on. And then we're gonna put the ropes over the top of it to hold this plastic down in the middle. And that's the, really the secret of the hole. That's good enough. That's, that's the secret of this whole thing is this wire holding it on and the rope's in the middle. So uh, bear with us just a minute. They're getting the other end tacked on and then we're gonna throw the ropes across it and, uh, and show you how this goes on, how this rope holds this plastic on. You might ask how long this plastic lasts. This is six mil poly and it lasts for four years. Uh, if you take the top sheet off every year and put a shade cloth on, it, then it'll last six, five or six, seven years. This plastic here does not have an inside and outside. Some, some plastics has an inside and outside. You wanna cut that off down there about two feet down or what, but that'll be good enough right there with you. Cut it right past that line a little bit. You, let's see, which line is it we got, Josh? Let's see. It, yeah, right, make it a lot easier on you. You got lines, some of these lines are on this plastic where it's been folded. You just kind of cut down the side of them. Pile that over a little bit. Okay, we're gonna throw the ropes over now. Uh, you have to put a water bottle or something with a little water in it to throw it over the house. Uh, right here with this little one, why it, uh, we almost got it over. Throw it back again, Josh, didn't make it. And, uh, but you can put a water bottle, a half full of water, throw it over the top and it won't hurt your plastic. And uh, let's see if we can get over this time. He got over this time, all right. We pull that rope over and he's got it tied on the corner one over there. And from the corner, he goes over to the second bow. He doesn't come to this first bow because we're gonna cross them on this house. And uh, we'll show you what we're talking about here. Now that second one tied on over there comes to this first one. You see, we've got the little lip, little clip down there you put it in and bring it right back up here. And we got a tie knot right up here. So what we do, we just come up here about shoulder height and just tie you a, a knot in that rope right there and then run it back through there. And and that's the way you do it, right there like into that. You just, you pull them down tight and uh, you throw, let me throw them one more time. 
uh, Isaac, show them what we do now. We, what we do, we, we went down through into that bottom in that clip, come back up here and went through this little loop we made in this rope and pulled it down through there and just pull it down pretty good and tight to where it's got the plastic pulled down lower than this here. You see, we got it pulled down out of the way the, the, the wind cannot blow this, wind, this uh, plastic. Then we throw a half hitch and then throw another half hitch on there and that won't come loose. That'll just sit right there and hold. Occasionally you have to come back maybe and tighten the rope up a little bit. Anyway, that's the way you cover it. Now then the, the door, if we lay a piece of this plastic down that we cut off, what is, which one are you gonna use, Richard? Okay. We're gonna let down here and try to show you. I know it's a little dirty here, but we're gonna let it down. And you take your door, Isaac, let's see, let's turn it around and show them where the door sits. Hang on just a minute, right there. Come around this way, okay. You see your hinges are on here on this left-hand side, and that's where you put on the door on that hinge up there when we get it covered. So this is the hinge side, this is the uh, latch side. On the front side, we put a, bar, a, a wiggle wire track across here, and other than that, there's this wiggle wire track all the way on the inside of this door. So we're gonna lay the outside part of the door down on the plastic, pull it up around and put it in these, in these wiggle wire tracks, and then stand it up and put a wire here. All right, y'all go ahead and do that. Okay, folks, we wanna show you how this plastic goes on here. Uh, you can see that we brought this, we, we put, got us a piece of plastic. It's, it's five and a half feet wide and seven and a half, eight foot long. And we've laid it out on top of these two skids, of these two sawhorses. We've laid our door, when we took our door off, we brought it and laid it down on here with the outside front laying down on the plastic. Then Richard tightened this here up and put a wiggle wire in that. He tightened this end up down here and put a wiggle wire in that. And now he's fixing to start on the sides. I punched, uh, we, we split that over to that hinge right there. We're gonna bring it up and put it in there like that. And he's gonna fold that corner to where it looks nice. And uh, take it out just like that, Richard, and put it in there. And he's gonna head this way, putting in that wire. That's what we do to it. We come up here and we fold this door, this, light, this here over, and come in like that and just fold it right down in there like into that. And that gets you the one side of it done. Just start right here, Richard, all you gotta do from here up to there. It'll be fine. And then we come over here and we fold this one in the same way. Okay. We pulled it up over that hinge. You had to split a little bit right there and pull it on where the hinge is showing so you can set your door back on your hinge, okay? I'll hold this till he gets his wire over here. Let me see. Start right here, you just put the wire in and out, just like that right there. I'll let you have it, Richard. Okay. Give me another for up here now. All right, and I'm gonna fold this in the same way. You can cut this off, this extra off. Just let me take my pocket knife and I don't have a pocket knife with me today, so I'll just fold it in anyway. Fold it over like that. Richard's gonna put that end piece in or just like into that. And you've got your door covered. All right, Richard, let's, let's hang that door now. Upside down, there. Yeah, there you go. All right, all we gotta do is just uh, put these two hinges on up here. Set so that one on the bottom and one up here at the top. There it goes, it's on. And you light your latch and you've got her covered just like into that.
Okay, folks, we've kind of, you know, we've, we'll, go re, we'll go back over this a little bit. You know, you put your end plastic on first. You, you raise it right about four inches up over the top. Put a little piece of wiggle wire in your track. And then put another little piece over here and one down here and one at the bottom. Same way on the other side. You split out your door, if you remember. Remember splitting out here like into this and then come down through here. You pull that plastic around behind, put it in the wiggle wire track. You put it around behind here. You pull this up over the top and, and wiggle wire it. Then you do the other end the same way. Then we put two ropes over it. We pull the plastic over it, let it lay 18 inches on the ground. Let it lay 18 inches on this side. And uh, then we put the wiggle wire track solid all the way from the center down and all the way from the center down over here. Then we got to dig a ditch across here over to the door now and bury that plastic. And we do the same thing over here, bury it in the plastic. And uh, now we have to anchor this house down. We didn't talk about that the other day, but you go inside and you either dig a post hole at each one of them posts, or we have drive anchors that you can drive them in and hook the chain on the latch there where we have them by the post. And uh, that's basically what you got to do so to cover this house. I know it takes a little longer than what we've showed you. We've made it look like it's real easy. It's not much harder than this once you, you do it. But anyway, if you like this video, Can I punch ask the button you a question? and ring the bell. We'll what? make you another video. Yes, what do you want to ask about, Judy? What's the difference in the skids or the post in the ground? Okay, if you get, buy one on a skid, it's got a frame all the way around the bottom of it. If you put the post in the ground, you dig the holes and put them every four feet to set your bows in. It's a little easier to set up one on a skid and then anchor it than it is to set the post. You got to set the post on a level, you know, with a string and you see me and I'm in. And uh, so it's a little bit harder to put up a one with a post in the ground. It does make it stouter and it is a little cheaper. But if you want to do it the easy way, you buy one on a skid and then you can move it real easy if you want to unhook it and unlatch it, you know, from the anchors and move it. Hey, okay, folks, we're going to show you about if you, uh, you know, if you decide you want to take this plastic off for the summertime and put a shade cloth on, what we do, we just take the ropes loose, you know, and take all the ropes loose and take them off. Put, take your wiggle wire track. You can take a little flat screwdriver and take the end of that wire out of there, pick it out, and then just start wiggling it back and forth to get all the way over. And uh, Richard, if you want to get on your ladder and uh, take it loose, and we're going to show you how to take this plastic off. And you just take it off, fold it up. Now you leave your end pieces on, okay? You just leave these end posted pieces on. Put the shade cloth, we'll, we'll sell you a shade cloth that's just big enough to cover it about the size of the plastic. You take your plastic off, put it up for the summertime, and then pull your shade over and do the same thing. Put your wire back in on both ends and then put you some of the ropes back across like we showed you. And uh, you have it ready. Now, now then, when you get shade cloth on it in the summertime, the heat can escape up through the shade cloth. The only downside of that is when it rains, you can't be out here working in the house because you'll get wet because the rain will come through the shade cloth. But if you leave the plastic on during the summertime, it'll get 140, 160 degrees in there and you can't work in there anyway. It's so hot and the plants can't stand it. So there's not a perfect way to do a greenhouse in the summer, I don't guess, but we think it's better to take the plastic off and use the shade through the summertime. All right, Richard's up there taking the wire loose. And then we're going to take this plastic off here in just a minute. Leon, I have one more question. Okay, Judy, go ahead. Uh, I noticed you have three guys working on this little house. And well, that's a little house. Yeah. What a big house. And I can't do it by myself. Well, it still takes about three people, really and truly, to cover any size house where you hold, when you're holding plastic. Now, two people can put it up. The framework, two people can handle the bows, unless it's a, a 26 foot house or 24 foot house, then it's good to have somebody on the ladder in the middle to kind of take the bow up and let the other two boys stick the bow in. So it takes some two to three people to work on these houses. Okay, the plastic is off. They're gonna fold it up. You leave this plastic on this end, you put one on the other end too, you know. We didn't do it today, but we, you did the other ends just like you do this one. But anyway, you've got your, then you put your shade back on this and put your wire back in, put your ropes over, 
and you're ready to go through the summer. Then when it starts getting cool in the fall, and here in Oklahoma we do it in October, we take the, uh, the shade back off and put the plastic back on. It takes you about 45 minutes to an hour to do that, and you don't get everything folded up and put back up. So uh, it's not a bad deal. It's uh, pretty easy to do. Okay, so if you like this video, punch the button, ring the bell, and subscribe, and we'll make you another video.